I got the other parts pretty well dialed in. Um, so I decided while I had the four jaw chuck in, I would work on uh, a couple of the others that need the four jaw chuck. So the backside here, once I uh, once I established and got this dimension correct, I was able to mock it up on the uh, spindle with the rotor and the hub again and everything like that and get my exact dimension. And it turns out it's the same dimension I was working with before. It's 550, uh, 550. So uh, now that it's verified, I can cut the backsides. I made this little spacer here. Okay, basically what I did, I just took a piece uh, uh, I had. I turned the outside diameter down a little bit. I cut the holes so that I got a little bit of slip there. Slip there. You know, it's slip fit order, but that's my spacer. Okay, so now I can put that in there. And tighten that down. Then I'm giving it a couple of taps with the hammer there to make sure it's seated. The reason I'm doing that is because I have taken a reference off of uh, that spacer right there. Okay, so that's where I set my part zero, uh, and I come out this way. Now they're all uh, cut to uh, they're all the same length, and so I, I still have an extra facing cut on there I don't need, but I figured I would uh, just show it real quick. Went through this all once, thinking I was recording. <laughs> anyway, uh, I changed up. This is the bracket spacer, doing the second side. And I showed this uh, uh, probably in the first part of this video. I'm not quite sure how I'll edit it out, but how the edit will come out. But uh, what I did here was I got rid of that light pass, that light cut that uh, went up here and did that, and then went back and then did the final cut. So what it does now is the final diameter cut for the boss there it comes in and then it just faces. So I just simply eliminated one cut out of there, uh, which is fine. This isn't precision enough that uh, I have to worry about it. I've still got, I've only got like 25 more. I should have done this early on when I still had, you know, 80 of them to do. The other thing I did was I changed the rapid to come here and then it makes one face cut. I got rid of that light pass that it did before. Uh, they're all close enough and within and tight enough that I'm, you know, it's not like I'm going to end up with a 50 thousandths cut. All the slugs are uh, uh, the same thickness, basically, same length. So then it comes out here, and instead of coming up and backing up, it just it comes right to here, and then starts the the little knock the edge off there, the little chamfer cut. So let's see how it runs. 
I think it cut about a half a minute off, so we'll see. I think it went from like uh, just over two minutes to around a minute and a half. Well, it looks like it's a minute 59, so it must have been two and a half minutes before. I just remember it shut off, it cut off uh, a good half a minute. So I think that's it for now. I just got about 25 more to do.